welcome to Kingdom One Live, where it's all about a kingdom perspective. I'm your host, Deborah Asbury. Today's program comes to you in part by Privy Etiquette and Protocol. Owner operator Sherry Graham, a passport to get you to a position of influence and open doors of opportunities. Also by a novel thing, Christian romance novels that inspire. Author owner Lucy Heath. My guests today are not only dreamers, but they are making their dreams come true while encouraging other youth and young adults to do the same. Stay with us, we'll be right back. founder and CEO of Design Styles & Co. Dream Center, which is a unique boutique style business incubator that allows youth and young adults from underdeserved communities to have hope and build dreams for a successful future. Please welcome back to Kingdom One Live, Margaret Lee, along with several of her 2023 Dream Center Imagine Me graduates. Welcome back, Margaret. Hey, thanks for having me back. I'm just excited to have you back here. And so you were with us on first season. Yes. <laughs> and back again, and I'm just really excited to see some of your dreams come to fruition where you had shared with us then mm -hmm. about your Imagine Me program, and now you've had a graduating class. So kind of refresh our memory, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. about, you know, style and co. Okay. And, you know, and all what you do. Yeah, so basically, um, like you said before, you know, Design Style & Co. Dream Center, it is a business incubator. Mm -hmm. And it's an incubator where as we want to help our youth and our young adults to um, really hone in to what their purpose and their passion so they can live out the dream. Right. And so then we we hadn't had a class yet. We were just getting started. I remember. And so this was our first class and uh, for six weeks. And we had about, you know, five students at that time. So Wow, that is so amazing. So you call this six-week program a boot camp, right? It's a boot camp, yes. Okay. Yes. So and, and, go ahead. No, well, no, just, I just wanted you to share just a little bit of the curriculum for the six weeks. Yeah, so um, in the six weeks, one of the things that we do, um, we, we make sure that they're financially fit. Okay. And we also talk about, you know, what is the dream, what, you know, what is the passion right. so they can start the dream. And so we really help them to navigate through that financial um, um, we, we also talk to them about building their self-esteem. Right. They have goal plans, yes. you know, a five-year plan. So we go over those particular things with them. And a couple wow. more things, too. Etiquette, things of that nature. That is a great concept, mm -hmm. especially when you incorporate etiquette. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> So, um, in addition to that, now you have five students. Talk with us about, you know, the students, um, where they came from. Do you, like, work with the local schools or, yeah, talk with us about... Yeah, we also work with the local schools. We have, um, mm -hmm. we had, like, three of our students were under 18 and they were Great. in high school. And then we had two that was over 18 because our range is from 16 all the way to 30. Wow, and so we had I think some, that's a great range. Yeah, and we had someone in each one of those ranges, you know. And a lot of people, they ask us, why do you go up to 30? Because most programs, they stop at 24. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, what, that 25 and 30 is a gray area. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it gives you an opportunity, really. Yes. Well, it gives the individuals an opportunity yes. because everybody doesn't mature at the same level. It, it, that's the point right yeah. there. Yeah, and I think mm -hmm. at, at 30, that's uh, whenever the individuals, a lot of times, get to the point where they say, I think I want to go to college now. And especially, you know, those that did not start out going to college, mm -hmm. they come to kind of come to themselves and say, this is what I want to do. And I think life starts getting real. Yes. It's like, okay, it's getting real and it's getting serious. Mm -hmm. So then your mindset changes. And post-pandemic, mm -hmm. I mean, it's oh, a yes. whole new mindset yes. since the, you know, the pandemic as well. Yes, for sure. So why don't you introduce to us our 20, well, the 2023 graduates okay. that you have with us. Okay, and so um, we didn't bring all five with us today. So the two that came with us today is LaCoria Hill, and we Hi, have um, Janae Lee Davis. Hi, 
Hi. Hi, Janae. Oh, wow. I'm just so excited to have both of you here. Thank you for having us. We're happy to be here. How does it feel being the graduate of the first Imagine Me program? Feels great. It, it actually does. Wow. And so, um, you know, I like that. I love your energy, and I, I see the excitement in their faces, mm -hmm. Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. These are my prize ones. <laughs> Uh-huh. So I'll go ahead and start with you, dear Lucaria. Yeah. So Lucaria, so what, what are your plans after going through the Imagine Me, you know, boot camp program? What are your plans now as far as a career for yourself is concerned? Well, I'm an Atlanta hairstylist. So after completing the program, um, well, when I first met Margaret, I was all over the place with my career. And now she got me on track to where I want to be in the future. So now I'm just on the road, on the path to open up my own suite. Wow. wow. That is so wonderful. Thank you. And exciting. For real, yes. All right, and Janae, I know, so what grade are you in? I'm in 11th grade, but technically I'm a senior now. Because <laughs> school well, just ended. Because school just ended, <laughs> exactly. So tell us a little bit about what you dreamed up through the program and, and what your plans are. Well, I always wanted to be in the cosmetology industry. Yes. So, with being in the program, that helped me to determine what I wanted to do because I'm currently taking credits for barbering and cosmetology. So the program helped me figure out which one I want to start with first. So when I got when I get done with school, I'm gonna do I'm doing barbering first. You're gonna do barbering first. That's really interesting. Wow. And so is there any advice that either of you would give to, say, a student that's not really clear about, you know, what they want to do? And maybe they don't even have a dream. Is there anything that you learned that you t took away from the program that you would, you know, advise a potential student of? Don't give up. Stay focused and just everything that she tells you to do, just follow it and do it. It'll get you where you need to be. Great advice. Wow. What about you? I would say stay true to yourself. If you if you think you know what you know, uh -huh. don't let nobody <laughs> tell you. Otherwise, stay true to yourself. Don't try to change the perspective. You go, girl. When you become a high school senior, you do come into your own. So you go. <laughs> I like that advice, Janae. Confidence is key in this world. <clears throat> Ooh, let's give it up for Janae. No. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Confidence is key. Wow. So, Margaret, is there anything else about the program that you wanted to add that maybe we haven't touched on? Yes. One of the things I wanted to add, um, not only did they have, they had to save money for six weeks. So they opened up a bank account. Ooh. They had to save for six weeks, and they all did save. And our sponsors matched with a scholarship. So oh, wow. that, that, that way they were able to start their dream or, you know, wherever they needed to put it at to get things going. Okay. You, you already know, when you have a dream, it takes money. It does take money. And so our sponsors... Let's see Yes. Money. And then also, too, they also did a time capsule. And that time Ooh. capsule is um, January of 2024. They're going to be opening up those letters to see if they've met the goals that they have set for themselves. I like that. So it's kind of a year? Yeah, they are one year, to, year. To, to make some things happen in what they've learned. Okay, you great. You gonna say something, Coria? Basically, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically, kind of ditto. Mm -hmm. Well, that was exciting, and and so this will. I mean, it's a seed money. You can use it toward. They can use it toward anything. I'm assuming. Yeah, I, I, it, it's totally up to them. You know, um, they want to put it towards their goals. You know, once you know, it's given for them to mm -hmm. do whatever they need to use it for. Absolutely. Well, you know what? Are there any other, like, volunteers? Are you looking for volunteers or professionals that can help you? That oh, yes, help most, you most definitely. Most definitely. We have other companies that we have, we want to be able to partner with. So uh, some, of the, some of the modules that we have, we want them to be able to teach some of the modules and learn from different people. Awesome. You know, help them go to the next level. And we also, based on whatever career that they pick, mm -hmm. then we also put somebody along with that to help them further too. 
What an amazing concept. Well, we're going to pause right now for a break, but when we come back, we're going to talk a little more about the Imagine Me program and, of okay. course, Design & Co. We'll be right back with more Kingdom One Live. Stay with us. Introduce her readers to the Amish community in 2012 with the novel Rachel's Forbidden Love. She believes chivalry is not dead and every woman yearns for the passionate woo of her suitor. Her vivid and lifelike characters draw you into their very lives, causing you to cheer for the hero and heroine as they endeavor to find true love. Be enthralled by the mysterious intrigue as her novels keep you anticipating her character's next move. Start your journey today with these novels that read like a movie. Privy. Etiquette and protocol services that assist with professional and personal development. It's not just about forks and spoons, but a passport to get you to a position of influence and open doors of opportunity. Owner Operator Sherry Graham. Music for your mind. Affirmations by Dana Rice. Is mine. The mix of spoken soul and velvet vocals that will wrap you in positivity and self care. This voice is. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom One Live, where it's all about a kingdom perspective. I've been here talking with my special guest, uh, Margaret Lee, LaCoria, as well as Danae. Uh, they're with the Dream Center Imagine Me program, which is part of Design and Co. Mm -hmm. And I know, um, Margaret, you probably want to correct me because I'm feeling as though I'm messing the name up a little bit. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> it's okay, I think we're going to let it flow. <laughs> we're going to let it Thank you so much. We're going to just so let it flow. Much. But you've got such a fascinating concept. <laughs> and I've just really been enjoying the conversation. And so I'm just kind of curious. How do you go about attracting, you know, new students who may be interested in the program? Well, a lot of times, you know, we do work with some of the schools, um, parents, you know, oh, I know somebody. Right. And then even some of the young people who have gone through the program or if has helped them in some kind of way, you know, word of mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so in addition to in attracting students, what about attracting volunteers, um, uh, we mentioned professionals earlier, but those who may have internships and maybe even want to contribute towards scholarships. Yeah, and, and we're definitely looking for it. We're reaching out to different companies that um, and telling them about the Dream Center and what we're doing in the Imagine Me program and hoping that they would be willing to partner with us to help us with some of the scholarships so that we can bring more um, help to the community. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, you're doing a fantastic Thank work. Thank you. So what's next for you and your, your overall program? Well, what's next is, is that I really, really want to reach out, you know, as much as I can, even to the age group of the 18 to 30. Yes. Because there seems to be a lot of, lot of different problems in that mm -hmm. area. And so we want to be able to offer more to them and, and cast our net in marketing a little bit further yeah, so that, that we can get sense. more students. But we'll always keep the classes small. Mm -hmm. 10 will always be the max. 10 will be yes, the next. Because that way, each I want to make sure each and yes. every student get what they need. They get that individual right. attention. Right, they, they got to have it. Because if you don't, if it's too big, people get lost. And I don't ever want that for the program. Right, right. That really mm -hmm. makes sense. So the class will always be small. 10 will be the max. OK, great, great. And so um, in addition to what's next for the Imagine mm -hmm. Me program, what about Style & Co? Well, the, like design the dreams, style and code. Excuse yeah, me. design style and code. The dream center. The dream center is the hub. That is the safe place where you know we host all of our different programs under that. Um, we want to be able to have different resources available to the community. So the dream center is the hub. It's the place. Okay. Got where you, the dreams got you. happen. You can dream as big as you want to. I got you. I love mm -hmm. it. It's such a great, fascinating concept. Thank you. Well, you know what? Let's all switch gears a little bit. Okay. I figure we'll do something a little intergenerational here. All right. Since we've kind of got, well, we've got some, uh, what, Boomer, um, Generation X. Mm -hmm. We've got, let me see, would you be Millennial? She's, no, she's, she's Gen Z. Oh, Gen she's Z. Still Gen Z. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Okay, both of y'all Gen Z. Both of them Gen Z. Okay, well, this is good. We've got, we've got someone that's Baby graduated Boomer. from high school and a senior uh. in high school. So we're going to do the um, Be Enlightened Lightning Round. We're going to jump right into it. So mostly it's kind of like either or types of questions, and it's going to be kind of interesting to hear the variety of answers. Mm -hmm. Okay? So skinny leg jeans or bell bottoms? Skinny. Bell bottoms. Skinny. <laughs> skinny for you. Okay. <laughs> Leggings versus leg warmers. Leggings. Leggings. Okay. Leg warmers. Ooh, look at you. I like ah! I'm leg warmers. <laughs> leg warmer. I like TikTok leggings. TikTok versus Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Stilettos versus Mary Janes. Mary, Mary Janes. Stilettos. Both for me, but I have to wear Mary Janes, don't Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's up versus what's happening? What's, what's up? up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Keep it 100 versus square beers. Keep, Keep it 100. 100. Look at y'all, okay? <laughs> they don't make you a little young there. I know. Hang your Capping list. versus jiving. Capping. Jiving. Okay, yeah. Never heard of that before. Yeah, we Make say. a vision versus keeping a journal. A journal. Okay. A journal. And, and give us your favorite self-affirmation. We'll start with you, Margaret. I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. Okay, LaCorrie? I add value to this world. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Janae? Encourage and... Uplift. Uplift. Ah! I love it. <laughs> well, this, well, that concludes our Be Enlightened Lightning Round. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did a great job there. Mm -hmm. And so I do want to say thank you all for being with us today. So, Margaret, if any of our viewers want to volunteer, they want, you know, to check you guys out at Des mm -hmm. Design and the Imagine Me program, how can they reach you? Um, you can reach us at www.dsandcodedreamcenter.com. And you, when you go on the website, you'll see the Imagine Me program and some of our other programs. And just click on that um, tab and put your information in, and we'll definitely get back with you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Stay with us. We'll be right back with our musical guest. Privy etiquette and protocol services that assist with professional and personal development. It's not just about forks and spoons, but a passport to get you to a position of influence and open doors of opportunity. Owner Operator Sherry Graham Thank you for supporting Kingdom One Live with our host, Deborah Asbury. When you support this broadcast with $25 or more, you will receive this special gift, a guide to living your life to the fullest. God, Will I Ever Find Happiness, The Journey Toward Healing Your Inner Child by Mitzi. To make a donation, visit our website, kingdomonelive.com. Thank you for your support. And until next time, love and blessings. Music for your mind. Affirmations by Dana Rice. The mix of spoken soul and velvet vocals that will wrap you in positivity and self care. This voice is. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom One Live, where it's all about a kingdom perspective. Our musical guest today is bringing an encore presentation. She is an ordained minister, singer, songwriter, an arts educator. Over the course of 30 plus years in music and ministry, she has dedicated her time and talents to live in a life of faith artistically and musically. It's expressed while encouraging herself and others in the pursuit of big dreams. She has been married to her husband, Damien, for 28 years, and they are proud parents of two adult children, Trey and Jordan. Let's welcome back to Kingdom One Live, Dana Rice singing Save Us Again.
restless heart of mine Tried a thousand times To be somebody else You know that always fails The very best part of me Is also the worst of me Thank you for supporting Kingdom One Live with our host, Deborah Asbury. When you support this broadcast with $25 or more, you will receive this special gift, a guide to living your life to the fullest. God, Will I Ever Find Happiness, The Journey Toward Healing Your Inner Child by Mitzi. To make a donation, visit our website, kingdomonelive.com. Thank you for your support. And until next time, love and blessings. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Kingdom One Live, where it's all about a kingdom perspective. So we have come to the close of the show today, and I still have here with me my special guest, Margaret Lee of Design & Co., uh, as well as the Dream Center Imagine Me program, along with her 2023 graduates of the Imagine Me program, Lakaria, as well as Janae. And so during our break, we were just chatting a little bit about dreams. And I like what you said, Margaret. You mind repeating it? Yeah, so what I said, you know, about the dream is that, you know, when you start really, um, when you decide to go after your dream, yeah. just like what you have done here, you know, we're sitting right here into your dream, and we're a part of that dream, and you're a part of our oh, dream. And it's you know? so exciting. And, and it's exciting, you know. It really yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Gosh, and when you think about the fact that you're in a position to make dreams come true for people, right. that is really, really fascinating. And well, we don't make the dreams come true for them. We help them to build the dream and help them to design the pathway right. to get to the dream. And, and by the time you get to the dream, now you're in purpose work. And then you're designing, design, yes. helping them. They're designing design their own it. pathway and we're helping them to get there. 
you know. Wow. And and so for your next season, you've got, um, I think you said you already have five individuals Yeah, we have um, um, five individuals, that, you know, that we're um, working with right now yes. to get started for the next program. Because like I said earlier, we're always going to keep the program small, the classes right. small, because each person needs individual attention. Yes. Well, that is so wonderful. Well, thank you ladies again for being with me. In closing, I do want to say thank you again for being with us ladies. Mm -hmm. Margaret being the founder and CEO of Design Styles Dream Center and Imagine Me, along with the 2023 Imagine Me graduates. Mm -hmm. James 1.5 in the NIV says, if any one of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. Margaret Lee with the Dream Center Imagine Me program is answering the call to share that needed wisdom with the youth and young adults. I read an article recently from Harvard Health Publishing about the five skills needed by youth and young adults. You see, all parents want their children to be successful in life. And by successful, we mean not just having a good job and good income, but also being happy. Mm -hmm. According to Harvard Center on the Developing Child, it's less about grades and extracurricular activities and more about core set of skills. That helps people navigate life's inevitable challenges. These skills fall under what we call executive function skills, which we use for self-regulation. Most people who are successful and happy in life have these skills. The five core skills are first, planning, being able to make and carry out a concrete goal and plan. Mm -hmm. Focus, the ability to concentrate on what's important at a given time. Mm -hmm. Self-control, how do we respond to a, not just emotions, but stressful situations. Mm -hmm. Awareness, not just noticing the people and situations around us, but also understanding how we fit in. Flexibility, the ability to adapt to changing situations. The article points out the best way to learn any skill is by actually doing. So what is your thoughts? Feel free to weigh in on the conversation. Like us, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and join us here weekly on Kingdom One Live, where it's all about a kingdom perspective. Thank you for watching. Until next time, love and blessings. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.